let's talk technology now because there's a Ghanaian who is really inspiring the next uh, generation of technology entrepreneurs. He is uh, a Ghanaian tech entrepreneur <clears throat> committed to solving Africa's biggest challenges through innovation. As a co-founder and uh, visionary behind trans transmitted tech companies like Origin, uh, Dodo, Gudu, Student and Arise, is leading a new wave of African-led innovation, building bold, scalable solutions designed for the continent and ready for the world. I have with me the co-founder and CEO of Dodo Technologies, um, Kane Money. Good morning. And How are you doing? I'm doing well yourself. I'm, I'm well. Wonderful. Uh, now, let's talk about Dodo. Yes. And the vision behind it. Yes. Yeah, so, so the idea for creating Dodo came as um, mm. knowing that communication in the world is broken. Mm. So every company's communication is fragmented. And what that simply means is that in every organization, companies use different tools to communicate. So if you take internal communication, they use different tools for that communication. When you take external communication, they use different tools to communicate. And for public interactions, they use different tools to communicate. Now the bedrock of every company is communication. So if your communication is broken, what that means is that you won't have a unified information to make informed decisions about the company. So now we set up a way to create a solution to reinvent communication by building tools that unify all your communication from internal, external, and public interactions, and using AI technology to mm -hmm. interpret all that data for you to give you informed intelligence on your business. That created the whole thing about Dodo. So it's like a, a 360 solution? Yes, so, 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 so it, it has four key products that makes all of it unified. Mm. So Dodo has Dodo Workplace, which is for internal communication. Mm. So employees, teams can engage with each other. Then there is Dodo Messenger, which enables the external people out of the company, which is customers, partners, stakeholders, to engage with those inside the company. Now, all that data currently, if you're not on Dodo, is, is separated. So you have different people using different things, so you don't have access to that core data. Now, there is Dodo Widget, which is the AI widget on your website, which interacts with people who visit your website. Instead of you having a phone number there or, 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 or an info email there, which if they engage, you probably go and sit in an email you, 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 you probably will not visit, or a phone call that you may not even understand the context of the, of the call. Then all of this unified into a central knowledge base. Then we have the Dodo AI, which is inbuilt to interpret all this data that is coming through the company. So from employee engagement to customer engagement to public interaction, all comes to a centralized pool. And through that, Dodo AI interprets all of that and gives you actionable insights. So we have Dodo Omni, which is the final piece of it. It's called Omni because it's omnipresent. It's always listening, it's always engaging, it's always interpreting. So through Omni, we can tell you how much money your company will make, how much um, customers your company will get, um, whether your company will grow in market share, all of that through your communication. And mm. what most people don't really take into consideration is that communication is the bedrock of every organization. Everything you say is, 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 is the fundamentals of what your company needs to know. So if a customer has a problem and they talk to a customer support, and as a CEO, as a manager, you don't know or you don't hear, you don't be able to understand the pain points of the customer. The, 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 the customer support may not report every single thing, but through the platforms, the AI understands the pain point of the customers. They present you sentiment analysis. They enable you as a, you as a CEO to know the steps to take, whether you are losing customers, whether you are, you are growing a business, all through the platform. So for the first time in the history of the world, we have built a technology that unifies your entire communication into one single intelligent platform. And, and how are these helping organizations to perform? So currently, Dodo has over 22 companies on the platform. How many? 22 companies okay. on the platform. We are currently deploying for over 50, 50 companies, and it's global. So we have companies in the US that are currently using the service. We have companies in Nigeria. We have companies in, in, in Ghana. We have companies in Portugal. Now, what, what, what helps these, what, these companies is that they are able to now make use of the data that prior to this sign-on to do would have gone waste. 
So if I engage with a customer support, say, on my WhatsApp, it's my personal WhatsApp and on the customer support's personal WhatsApp, or suppose it's, it's even the company's uh, WhatsApp, that data sits on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. It's not even interpreted. I don't even understand the context of that. So, so imagine, let's say, I have a problem, and, and we are about four or five, and we, and we report to the uh, customer support, and it's not acted on. And I go and say, oh, I did this, and I didn't get results. I am letting you lose business. And the CEO doesn't have insight of this. So when they are on Messenger, when they are on Widget, when they are on Workplace, when they are on Omni, they get actionable insights into all of this. And all these companies are currently getting detailed information from the communication that before they started to do, they, they were not getting. It was just raw data across multiple channels not being processed. And that is where the broken or the fragmented communication happens. And that's what they're solving. I, I see that AI is integrated in all of the things you're talking about. From where you, you, you your experience, what was the future of AI um, on the African continent in the next decade, for example? So, 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 so the core and the key reason why Dodo has AI integrated in everything we do, and by the way, every AI technology or every technology on the Dodo platform was built by us. There is no foreign technology, there is no foreign, foreign access to what, what we have built. Our data is locally hosted, enabling data sovereignty. So unlike other platforms that you probably host in the West where companies will have access to your data, we have established key partnerships here um, from telcos, infrastructure partners that enable us to harness this data locally. So all of that is, is built by us. Now, our AI technologies is laid inside our technology so that it interprets and understands all this communication. So if I say, I am coming like, like I, I am going to school or I'm going to eat. The AI understands it. It learns about all these patterns that I am yeah, through my communication teaching it and passing it down. And all of this is built locally. Now, now what, what, what we are doing and, and, and it's part of things we won't do in the next year is that this is the first time in history that Africans will own its own technology. So there's been three technological shifts since the era of digital. So the first one was when, when internet pioneered, they became the web. So a lot of companies came out from the world that owned the web. Now it shifted to mobile. And a lot of companies, so we have the iPhones, we have the Androids, and all of that. Now this, this is the third major shift in technology. And we at Dodo are saying that we want to sit down aloof for Africa to participate in this. So part of the key things we are doing is that we are enabling our AI technology to be used by our locals. We are building AI infrastructure and AI cluster that are part of the entire continent. And we are enabling our communication tools to be built on top by other companies that will scale it across. So the future of Africa's AI technology is, is very amazing. And we are encouraging everyone to participate in it. So is that what is informing because I'm told you, you are embarking or you're organizing Dodo Summit. Yes. Is, is this what is behind the, the summit? So, so, so the Dodo Summit is the maiden, um, so, so, so this is our maiden edition, but it's a technology conference by Dodo where we share with our customers, our partners, the, the public about our, our, our current products, its impact, um, our, 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 our future plans, our honesty goals. The key regime for embarking on the Dodo Summit is to bring all the industry players, so from government to uh, customers to partners to every, everybody to the public to understand that it's important that broken communication, which has existed in the world and the world loses $1.2 trillion on every year, needs to be solved. And there is a team of young people in this country who are embarking on this global journey to solve it. Now, at the summit, there are key things we will announce. Because currently, we, uh, we, 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 we have four key tools that solve this problem. We are expanding on, 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 on other tools, uh, which we announce at the summit. So we are, we, we are launching the new email, which is our own email service, um, which companies will now not use other email service anymore. They can do, instead of an, another email, they can do Dodo email. Exactly. And all of that is communication. So you don't have to use other emails, other email services, which will take your data sitting somewhere. You probably don't have access to, or don't know what is being done with your, with your data. We're also launching Dodo browser, 
which enables you to browse the internet with a, our, our AI technique called NIA inbuilt already into it. And that also lets us understand all of these come tools that is currently engaging. We are uh, launching um, the Do Messenger Commerce, where all those who are engaging on our Messenger platform and engaging with customer support can actually now take it a step further by doing a purchase um, through it as well. Then we are announcing AI service, we are announcing an AI cluster together with all the government bodies. And we have um, um, the Honorable Minister, um, Honorable Sam George, as our keynote speaker for the, for the summit. So on the 10th of December, it's happening at the UPSC Auditorium from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And everyone can go to Dodo's website, www usedodo.com so use the u s e d o d o dot com and register it will be an amazing event everybody with everybody is coming to the summit we'll have to leave it here yes but i'm i'm, I'm happy for you sure. i hope that you continue on on the same you know uh, thank you or the same uh, but what's the future of dodo just in one minute we'll have to yeah. so 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 the future of dodo is very, is very bright we are building the world's most powerful communication AI platform, and we are solving the problem of broken communication at scale and enabling all of the future put together on AI mm -hmm. and communication. Kane Money. Yes. I wish you all the best, sir. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So that's uh, Kane Money there, uh, CEO and co-founder of Dodo. Hello.